All right, Ken here with 99.5 The Mountain. We are on the record with the one and only Mike Tramp from White Lion. We got my friend here, Rob, and we got Jim. Wanted to ask five questions of Mr. Mike Tramp. First question, last night, Buffalo Rose. In Golden, how was the show with Kip Winger? It was great. It's nice to finish the tour on a high note. And, um, it just seemed like like a gathering of a lot of the classic rock fans that appreciated all the years you've been through. As well. So that's nice when you, when you sort of can connect with the audience and you both have been through the same thing. Second question, what was the first album you ever bought with your own money? That was Slade and Flame. With Slade, of course, this was in 1975. Um, the same, same week the, the movie came out. And, uh, you know, ah. I went to see the movie five times yeah. on the same day. Wow. Yeah, it's one of those days. It doesn't happen anymore. Question number three. You've got a brand new solo record out called Museum. What can you tell us about Museum? Well, Museum is a continuation of, of, of the ladder that I'm climbing to find that that, that place where, where I belong. And, you know, it, it's, been, it's been a long journey from, from White Lion and, and, and through the Freak of Nature and the many solo albums that I've done. And from, at times, I veered off the road but, but found, found my way back, you know. Museum is part of a trilogy. It's actually the middle of, of three albums. Uh, um, the third album we call Nomad is coming out later. And it's basically just cementing where my tram is as an artist, as a songwriter. And I feel I feel like I need to go around and make these stands that, you know, that I'm not what I was in the past, regardless if I still play some of the old songs from time to time. I have actually moved on and we're now we're almost twenty five years old. Alright, Jimmy's got question number four and Rob's got question number five. Mike, I'm curious. Go, bro. All right, I'm curious to know about uh, your electric band that you're going to be playing with, and how you met the fellows in the band, and uh, where you're going to be touring. Well, this is one of those things that, that these days you got to have to adapt and improvise to the situation. So, uh, I had been part of developing this new young band uh, called Loser in, in Denmark, and uh, I came up with this idea. But how about if you guys not just are the support band, but you also become my band? That means we just have to travel in one van, and we, we kind of go out and. And, and they're like half my age, so I feel like I'm guiding them through the first steps of rock and roll. So there's a lot of different things involved, and I actually think that I'm going to have a lot of fun. With that. So yeah, it's great. It's a great way of doing it. You know, it's in us some old grumpy musicians. Thanks, Rob. You're up, Mike. Where were you when you first heard yourself on the radio? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a great question. Obviously, that would have been back in Denmark, um, where, where I'm from, and things like that. And and I thought it sounded different. I didn't recognize myself, but I recognized the song. So it took a little while to to comprehend that this is actually yourself. These days, you sit and say, "Where am I?" When you turn on the radio, and I can't find myself. So I just put a CD in and imagine this radio playing. It. There you go. What was the song? Your song. Yeah, well, it was our first the single called I'm Only Here to Rock and Roll. Wow. And here we are, 39 years later. That's awesome. And this is, we're still only here to rock and roll. <laughs> Mike Tramp, formerly of White Lion. Check out the new solo record. It's called Museum. Thank you so much for doing five questions. Pleasure. Thanks, Mike.